I was in a sexual relationship with my father for two months. After I turned 14, my dad decided he wanted to be in my life, so I gave him a chance and decided to go stay with him for just the summer. And he started to get into hardcore drugs, got me to do drugs with him. He asked me if I wanted to try meth. I said, no, why would you even ask me that? And he's like, just try it, just try it. It's the best feeling in the world. I didn't like it the first time, and then I got to do it more, and then I liked the feeling of it. I thought, well, if my dad's doing it, doing it, then why can't I, you know? My dad and I bonded after doing meth together. I didn't feel like a daughter to him after that. I felt more of a friend. One night after me and my dad got high, we were sitting in a relative's bed, just like father and daughter would. I didn't think anything was gonna happen, any sexual, I never thought of my dad in a sexual manner. And then one night we were laying there and he started to like cuddle me and he started rubbing his upper body towards mine and then I started doing it back thinking it was okay because I wasn't really thinking at the time. He kissed me and got on top of me and then the next night he started unbuttoning his pants and so I did the same and he told me to get on top of him so I did. After the first time we had sex, it was something we did every day. He taught me things that I never even done or seen, sexual positions that I've never heard of before. I never thought that I would experience something like that, especially with my own father. I thought I was gonna find a guy that I could do those things with, not my father. At the time, I didn't care because I wanted him to love me also, but it ended up bad. He treated me like his girlfriend. He would get mad if I would text other guys. He would just get jealous over me. But he kept telling me that I better not tell on him or get him in trouble or he's going to prison for the rest of his life. He brainwashed me to think that it was okay. The worst part was when I became sober. Uh, I went to a trauma center for five months. I was clean for five months. I got out. I was still clean and everything. And while I was there, I realized that, wow, this is messed up, what my father has done. So I texted a family member and told them what had happened, and they got the cops involved. He was charged with incest and endangering welfare of a child. When I walked into the courthouse, I had a really bad anxiety attack, and I was shaking, because right when I seen his face, it made me angry, and I got on that stand and I told them that we had a sexual relationship and I told them everything that's happened. And they found him guilty of all three charges, a maximum up to 30 years in prison. It was the best decision I've ever made because now he's behind bars and he cannot hurt anyone else. I realize now that what he's done is wrong and disgusting and that he's a coward and that he deserves to be behind bars. Since my dad got convicted, his family is still trying to say that he did not do this, and I want to take a lie detector test to prove to some of his family that I'm not a liar. Shana, you contacted my show to, to tell your side of the story. Tell your story. Um, how, did this, how did this all begin? Well, at about 14, I moved in with my dad. This is hard for me, I'm sorry. It's a very um, hard story to tell, I'm sure. He was in a relationship with a young girl. Um, it was good for about two years. And then all of a sudden, their relationship ended. And he started getting into some hardcore drugs. And then he asked me if I wanted to do drugs. I said no. And then he asked me again. And I said, yeah. What type of drugs is he meth. asking me to do? Meth. Yeah. So he started to do meth a while before he asked me. Um, and then one time, we're at his family member's house. We were laying in the bed just like father and daughter, you know, and I didn't expect nothing would happen. He started to move closer to me, so I was so out of it, I didn't know what was going on, so I was doing the same. That happened that night. The next night, he had intercourse with me in his car. Uh, um, so hard. When this happened in the car, were you uh, under the influence of meth? Yeah. Okay. And um, it happened over like 50 times. Um, and why, I, and let me say, it's, this is very courageous of you to talk about something like yeah. this because it, it's gotta be something difficult to share uh, with people.
And, and what made you want to come on the show and talk about this? Well, because I went to a treatment center for about five months, and I talked to a therapist and counseling there and stuff, and his family is still saying it never happened. Like, they found him guilty, and they're still saying it never happened, so I he thought... Went, he went to trial. Yeah. And he was... He I was, had to go to trial, yeah. You went to trial, and you testified against mm -hmm. your father, and he was found guilty. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he hasn't been sentenced yet, right? Not yet. And what's he facing? Uh, I think a, min a maximum 30 years. 30 years in jail. <laughs> when, when you were in these uh, sexual acts with your father, were you always high? Not always, but it was just in my head that it was okay to do that. So. Right. Did he, and, and what was he saying to you at those times? He would just tell me, like, don't tell on me, just stuff like that. Right. Um, you told my producer you developed romantic feelings for your father. Oh. Um, would you say you were in love with him at one point? I just, I don't know if it was in love. I just wanted him to love me because he's never been there for me. So I try to make it up to him, I guess. I don't know. Now, his, his family... Uh, is taken up his side and says that uh, they're saying that you're a liar, mm -hmm. that you're making this all up. Uh, and I would have to say, what would you gain from that? Nothing, seriously. Uh, nothing. Why would um, I come all this way? Your aunt, your father's sister, uh, she was supposed to be here but couldn't be here. Um, she left the voicemail. We're going to play that now. Okay. Hi, Steve. My name is Crystal, and I am Shania Vant. I do not believe a word that comes out of her mouth, as she has changed her story so many times. I mean, to family, authorities, on the stand. She developed an obsession with my brother and would fantasize about him constantly, saying she wished he wasn't her father and that she wanted to marry him when she turned 18. And always made sexual comments about him and when he got in trouble she figured he was already going to prison so why not make up the story that she had sex with him i mean they found no physical evidence in the car bedroom any place she said they had sex my brother's story has not changed one bit and hers has changed multiple times she has and always will be a troubled girl that strives for attention, needs help. My brother may have made bad choices, but this is one thing I know he is not capable of. He is going to prison for a long time over this, and this may not help get him out or set him free, but one thing I know it will do is clear his name and prove to everybody that she lied about having a sexual relationship with my brother, and I know that she is going to fail that lie detector test and it is going to prove to me and my family and help us cope with this better and try to get him out, maybe get a new trial. And that's what we're trying to do. Thank you. What's your reaction to what the aunt is saying? She basically blames you for everything. Yeah, and that's the other way around. My dad told me that he, want, he wishes that I wasn't his daughter, that he wants to marry me, and that I'm the only girl that he wants and all this stuff. I, I certainly hope that you, you'll stay off drugs and if anybody else tries to give you drugs, you just say, I've been down that path and mm -hmm. I'm just not going down it again. Okay. We asked you, was your father the first person to ever give you meth? And you answered yes. Is it true that you had sexual intercourse with your biological father in 2013? And you answered yes. Did you fabricate the story that you had sexual intercourse with your biological father? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test came back the same to each question, and it came back that you told the truth. <laughs> We're going to follow this case very closely and whatever support and help that we can give you um, to get you through this, okay? Okay, thank right. you. Thank you.